another thing that really pissed me off today that was um i went to exchange my money and i've been looking for a place to do it and i went to this place in the lulu exchange which is like super official you know and the guy and i was actually advised to go to this one and i was talking to this girl who was super attractive and um that's not the point though <laughs> anyways so i had old bills she told me she needed post 2013 and i didn't even have one and so i'm about to leave and the guy who's like in the booth all the way at the back tells tells me to come over or tells the girl to tell me to come over and i go over there he's like how much do you have and i'm like um, i'm not sure a couple thousand maybe he's like give it to me i'm like what i don't i'm not giving you an indefinite amount of cash you know what i'm saying he's just like give it to me and in oman you know it's been fairly trustworthy um and i'm i'm not exactly sure if he took a couple hundred or what happened but uh, i'm pissed at the unprofessionalism and i've noticed that sort of unprofessionalism here people get away with this sort of unprofessionalism in in roles that should be super professional you know um which is really it just agitates the heck out of me um so the particular role was so what happens is he he takes the money and the computer and he's counting out good bills he's counting on good bills behind the computer and bad bills like on where i can see them and i don't know exactly how much money he has and then he gets on the phone and starts like texting people and trying to call people and this and with all my money in his hands you know and then i have so i didn't obviously give him all the money and some of it's like in like open in my backpack like on top of my backpack and people keep coming and going and indian and pakistanis don't understand the idea of a line at all they just psychologically are incapable of understanding the idea and so they keep coming up and like hovering next to me and trying to get into the window while i'm standing there talking like obviously dealing with a lot of money you know this sort of ridiculousness and um anyways i just have the sneaking suspicion he got away with a couple hundred and the other thing that happened is he took a couple like there was some like a mouse mice got to it in georgia some of it just a little bit and some of the pieces were in there like kind of in the, like in between the bills and he he like he picked them out and threw them away and he threw them on the ground and then he couldn't only he could only find one of the bigger pieces and there's like two and he started insisting that no there was only one it was like split in two like this one even though there was at least two or three small pieces that he threw away you know and they do this sort of thing it's really annoying the other instance of unprofessionalism was at the divan itself like <clears throat> like I, going back and analyzing the whole situation like especially the guy i saw the second and third time i was at the divan super unprofessional antagonistic oppositional pre-decided in no way like wanting to listen and understand i had not reviewed my documents yet came to the meeting um and expected me to both progress and review the past you know super unprofessional super like passive aggressive sweet to your face super nice to your face but like dead opposed to your purpose and will without any reason like from the beginning of the interaction you know that sort of person niggardly i'm sorry for saying that word but that's the one that came to mind you know i don't mean that racially i just or from the root the ng root but just you know the the meaning of that word um devoid of racial whatever Anyway, so there is some degree of unprofessionalism here. I don't like it. And I just feel upset because it's like, this is the last little bit of money I have left. And I just realized how little of it I have left. And it's like the money my mom left me. So like, it was very little, you know, it was not a lot of money to begin with. And now it's almost all gone. And I don't have a future that I've built from it, really. I mean, I have tabakul in Allah. And there's a part of me that believes that because this is my mother's money, is going to have more blessing in it than my father's and that i needed to kind of spend all my father's money and start spending my mother's money in order to get to the point like for the the metaphysical stuff to kick in you know anyways so that's it for this video